Guys, I'm so hyped for this wave. Manus80 here. Thank you so much for your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Star Wars Black Series, Wave 21. Every figure here is a winner, in my opinion. In my opinion. Remember that. Half droids, half humans. Look at this, man. Episode 1, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Padawan Kenobi. Widely released now. Original, Originally a Star Wars Celebration exclusive. Different card. Chopper, Ezra, almost rounding out the Rebels crew. Uh, still needs Zeb. Phoenix Squadron will be complete, I hope. BT, Triple Zero, Dr. Afra. My favorite of the wave, Dr. Afra. I can't believe we have this figure. So good. Let's, uh, let's take a look. All right, we're going to start off with Kenobi and address the elephant in the room here. Yes, he was released previously. Star Wars Celebration exclusive. Bam. Uh, that scuffage is like inside the package. It's weird. Anyway, look how good that Ewan McGregor head is. Now, the one we got is just okay. It is shinier. Uh, there's less dark paint in the hair in the wash. He's got his little moles. Uh, I think the Celebration one is a better, uh, better figure, and it sucks. It sucks. This is the one. We, I don't understand why they just didn't re-release this. He also comes with extra hands, so you can see one hand there. Signature two-finger point hand there. That's a bummer. That is a bummer. So, I mean, as someone who lined up for these figures in 1999, I don't want to take this off card, although I would prefer to have that figure in my hand. Uh, it's a bummer. He's still a good figure, still a needed figure. Here he is next to Master Qui-Gon Jinn. Scale looks great. Qui-Gon looking, I won't say outdated. I know this figure had a unique, like his eyes were a separate piece behind the face before they went with this print technology, but... These new scan figures are so shiny and they look different. It's like, is every figure going to be re-released in the Archive Wave? Stay tuned, I suppose. We'll buy them like suckers. Uh, I'm so stoked to get another Anakin. Anyway, Obi-Wan Kenobi again. Let's get a closer look at that face. It's not bad. It's just glossy. The hair looks fine. Padawan braid. What a ridiculous haircut. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm not necessarily gushing over this figure. Again, it's great. My favorite Obi-Wan is uh, either Revenge of the Sith or Old Man Obi, New Hope Obi. But again, this is, you know, we were celebrating 20 years of Phantom Menace. Maul sees a re-release. We got Mace Windu, we got some battle droids, and we got Padawan Kenobi. I don't know if we're going to see another uh, Phantom Menace release before the end of the year. I don't think so. I think we're going to be episode 9. Fallen Jedi and Mandalorian heavy by the end of the year, and I'm okay with that. I'd like a Padme in her, her red gown and all that. But comes with a standard lightsaber. We've seen this before. Blade comes out. I hate taking taking these out of the hilts. I feel like the peg is too tiny. There we go. I did it. We're okay. We're alive. Mm. Figure's fine. I think he looks a little too thick. Uh, I, I don't know why I picture you to look skinnier in Phantom Menace. I, I need to rewatch that. It's been a couple months. Yes, months. I like Star Wars that much. But let's take a look at his articulation. He can look up that much. He can look down. He's on one of those where the whole neck can move. So, but it doesn't look like it's cooperating. So, you know, he can move at the base of the neck and, uh, the base of the head there his adam's apple was like off to the to his left there again the face is all right it's amazing all the the imperfections you see when you're on camera look at that he has like a scratch i don't know why again i think he looks a little too thick i wish he would have came with the robe uh old man kenobi came with the robe Mace Windu came with the robe. I, I don't. I hate this inconsistency. Just give us, give us a darn robe with every Jedi, please. Back to the articulation, full three hundred and sixty uh, ball and hinge. 
I got caught there. It looks like he does have a butterfly, but it's going to be hindered. It doesn't look like it is, but it is. I mean, you can get him holding. You can get him dual wielding. He's got this cool uh, waist, a ball at the waist, probably a dumbbell joint in there. His legs, he can go out that far, forward this far, back that far. This is very soft, so that doesn't hinder anything. Double jointed knees, rocker and hinge. You can have a good time with this figure. Uh, for those of you who missed out on Maul and are starting to get him in the re-release, it's, it's great. This is great. Great timed release with these two. Yeah, again, I'm not too jazzed about this figure. I'm, I, I, I am. I'm jazzed about the Celebration one, and I wish I could open it. I mean, I can. I wish I wanted to open it and would have that one on my display in my photos. He's sorely missing the other hands, although he never did that in Phantom Menace. Uh, this Revenge of the Sith thing, Clone Wars thing. But he's a good figure. He's rounding out, rounding out our Jedis. God, if we can only get more prequel Jedis, please. That would be amazing. Kiari Mundi, Ayla Sakura, Plo Koon, somebody, somebody else, please. I'm pleading now with Hasbro at this point, but yeah, let's move on. I don't have much to say about this one. Um, I'm not as hyped, so that's why I started with him, but yeah, let's move on. All right, guys, we almost have a full Phoenix Squadron. Ezra Bridger, uh, look at that. Look how glossy his face is next to Kanan. Hera, uh, Hera's fine. The green paint, I think, works. But God, I'm so stoked that we almost have this team. Please show us a Zep at San Diego Comic-Con. Please. Chopper Ezra. Uh, we'll focus on Ezra right now. But God, he looks great. So this look is based off of, uh, I, I believe, the first two seasons of Rebels. Before he got his little haircut. Before Kano went blind. Spoilers. For Sab I think Sabine had a different outfit every... Or a different hairdo every season. But God, Yes. They look so good together. I'm very excited. So I started out so we could see the high comparison. Ezra being a younger guy just, just fits in well with this team. Let's take a closer look at Ezra. So here's Ezra all by himself. I am so stoked for this figure, guys. Look at that head sculpt. For, so for being based on a cartoon character, this, this, uh, this print scan, this real scan, whatever you want to call it, looks so good. It looks good. A little glossy again. So I'm sure you customizers who have a, you know, you can do a dull coat, make that sheen go away. Uh, hair looks great. Does a logo on his vest. Look how raggedy his vest is. Frayed at the edges. Belt's looking great. Communicator's painted. Buttons are painted. This looks good. Gloves. Communicator in the red. Uh, actually, this is where his little slingshot came out, which I'm, that was kind of a goofy gimmick. Legs with his uh, shin and, and knee pad. Shoes are looking good. That's how you do it. Serial number on the bottom of the fate. So we don't see it here like Marvel Legends. Anyway. Harry's a little, uh, gets in the way from, you know, keeping him looking up, looking down. He again has uh, movement at the base of his neck and the base of his head. So you can get, you know, movement there, back. Some good tiltage. Both arms are on a ball and hinge. Full 360 if you'd like. You know, did I say Obi-Wan had double jointed elbows? I might just be in the habit of saying double jointed elbows. No double jointed elbows here, but goes past uh, 45. Looking good. No bicep cut. We got hinge and uh, swivel at the wrist. Can't get it going back very much. It's all right. Other wrist as well. His the wrist here is an up down motion. So you know, when they hold their saber, you can that way or that way, the way sword or gun wielding arm should be. Can run at you. He's got a diaphragm, no uh, no waist, but so he's twisting up top. So I was playing with the waist earlier. Uh, these kind of hinder it, and but his legs popped out pretty easily when I you know split them too much uh it's got a thigh cut which can be hidden uh with the with the belt here double jointed knees work really well rocker and hinge at the ankle good pivot there oh, this figure is rad let's get a good look at his 
lightsaber, which doubles as a blaster, if I remember. It looks good. It looks good. Hands are a little sloppy. But I think he ends up losing his lightsaber anyway. The blade's fine. I hate, again, I, I hate taking it out of the, out of the, the hilt. I'll do it though. Look at that. That little peg is going to snap off. You guys do that very often. Little hook there to hold his blaster and his uh, blaster slash lightsaber. Why can I not get this in? There you go. I don't know which way he, he faces it, but it doesn't really matter. This figure's great, man. Again, you saw him with the rest of the Phoenix Squadron. We need a Zeb. This dude is definitely up there in the wave. Probably my second favorite figure in this wave. Man, look at that. The good colors. I know it's based off an existing design, and Hasbro shouldn't get credit, but the paint they use is fantastic. Hardly any marks. Look how clean that came out again. You know, it's a little smudge there. It's still clean. Otherwise, it's not. Yeah, this is this is definitely a gush-worthy figure. Real quick, splicing his footage in. I almost forgot about his Stormtrooper training helmet. Uh, so he comes with the helmet. It goes on nicely. It looks great. So good. Uh, so you, uh, if you watch Rebels, Ezra collects helmets. So if you, I don't know, had extra Stormtrooper or Scout Trooper or whatever helmets to have in Ezra's collection, and you can pop their heads off and own that, but look at that. A little mark there, but it's painted clean lines. Looks great, looks great, and again, it goes on. It, it, I felt like with Captain Rex, it was gonna scuff the paint, uh, uh, or the surreal scan look off of his face, but this goes on nicely, so sorry about forgetting that. Clearly, obviously, slicing this footage in, but awesome, awesome. I hope you're as hyped as I am to to round out your Phoenix Squadron. God, I hope we see Zeb at Comic-Con. I can't say that enough. I hope we see a preview of Zeb at Comic-Con. Just, just end it for us, please. All right, let's move on to the next figure. So before we get to Afro, we'll get to her, her droids. Triple zero here. Uh, we just saw a rad C-3PO at Galaxy's Edge. This is using, and thanks for one uh, viewer for pointing that out. Forlom was the first to use this new elbow tech for uh, protocol droids. And it's no different here. So they're pretty much the same figure. His, uh, sorry, his hands are basically the hands 3PO came with in the Galaxy's Edge Droid Depot set. Enough of you, 3PO, you've had your time. Let's look at triple zero. This paint is excellent, excellent paint on this figure. Got a little rust mark up the eyes. Eyes looking great. I wish he had the same uh, grill. I don't know what to call it. Over the eyes as 3PO. That little extra touch would have went a long way. Again, more more uh, paint chipping throughout the figure. I guess just the front. The backs, back of figures tend to not get so much detail. Wires are painted nicely. So, I mean, if you have a C-3PO, you have the forelom. This is your, your, this is what you're getting. You're getting the same figure, but he does have interchangeable hands. So again, he has his trigger finger, he has a grip hand. His hands, since he tortures people in the comic, uh, and he's from the Dr. Afra comic, for those of you, if you just stick to the films, but you want some rad droids in your collection, uh, definitely worth picking up. But yeah, he's not a good guy. I mean, look at that little flame effect, knife, drills, blades, saws. Awesome, awesome figure. Easy to pop on and off, so quick, easy. Here, a nice pop. And the cool thing, so they're hinged differently. They're hinged with the with the, the sideways wrist type of thing, so they go this way. Boom, boom. Look at that. There you go. Awesome figure, man. And the colors work. Uh, <laughs> Jay Hernandez called this uh, Gothic 3PO, and I love it. So this is Gothic 3PO. Triple zero, though. Again, uh, articulation, it's the same as the 3PO again uh, that we saw at Galaxy's Edge. 
a little hinge there, hinge and ball, diaphragm there. So this one, the shoulders move. I pointed out that in my Galaxy's Edge one, I couldn't get these shoulder pads to move. So I was just stuck with this movement. None of those move. Again, that could just be my 3PO, but these move so you can get a wider range of movement. More threatening poses. I don't know how threatening. I mean, I look at a protocol droid, I'm not scared of it. But if this dude's coming at me with, with these little torturous devices at his fingertips, I guess that's a little messed up. As mentioned, he has that cool protocol droid elbow joint that is uh, hindered by that extra piece. And again, depending on which hands you have, you can see these have the standard... Good lord, what is up with focus? These have the standard up-down hinge. He's got the side-to-side. -side, so you can really do the robot. Out that far, forward that far. Again, the thigh can move right there. So he does have a thigh cut technically since that pegs into that. Single jointed knee, which can bend. Either way, he's a droid. So, and rocker and pivot, or sorry, hinge and pivot are rocker. Your choice of verbiage. But this figure is awesome. God, I love the paint. I need, we need, so we've been, we've been getting, I think we've gotten a couple packs of Astromex. Give us at least a two pack of more uh, protocol droids. We need a few more, TC-14 and whatever else. I don't care. I love the way this look, this looks. I wonder how much if at, you know, so you know you can build a three and three quarter droid, uh, protocol and Astromech at Disneyland, Disney World. I wonder how much they would charge if we were to build our own protocol and Astromex for the Black Series line. So would it still be $20 a figure, $25 a figure? Is that something you guys would buy? I think I would. If I was able to build a bunch of droids at Disneyland, that is worth a trip or two. Yeah, this figure's great. Let's get Dr. Afra in here as we'll look at her last. They stand and look great together. The red eyes, something with the red eyes and, and that color scheme look fantastic. Again, gushing over here, man. Is this a gush video? I think it's a gush video, but let's move on to BT. Let's get BT in here as well. Before moving on to him, her, it, they look great together. Again, the Astromex, I know uh, to some people are too small in size. I know the three and three quarter one when compared to Afra is like up to her chest. So looking great together. Let's focus on BT by himself now. Front and center with you. Here we go. Let me adjust the light. Get that. Look at that. Man, this is a good, another good figure. I think it's his color. I really like this color on these droids. This dude isn't your typical uh, astromech. Look at this. This is like something you would see on War Machine's shoulder. Nice. This big old cannon here. Good lord. He's got some uh, paint chippage as well. He does still have that classic Black Series astromech drop down the third leg by spinning the head. Oh, you're gonna hear some clicking. Okay, there we go. So you can still get him in classic uh, astromech rolling along poses instead of just standing there. Good stuff. These do come out, but there's no like, there's no replacement parts. So all right, guys, splicing in more footage, obviously, with the different lighting. But this is this is what happens when you keep playing with your toys off camera. So I said there's no... These come off and there's no replacement part. But there is. It's attached to the weapons. So this comes off. This panel comes off. It's the same plug. Just goes right in. So you can have a chill BT. Uh... I mean, I didn't, I've been disappointed by so many toy companies that I didn't think they would do this. So I didn't think to try it originally, but here we are. And you got a chill, unarmed BT. Isn't that awesome? That's awesome. So he always has this on. Uh, they plug right in pretty good. 
Good stuff, man. Jeez, this is such a cool character. I'm so glad they did. They need to explore more comic stuff. So we almost had the whole crew, Dr. Afra's crew. I mean, some would argue we need Santi, the black Wookiee bounty hunter. So he still has, so I'm guessing, I mean, this is the R2 body. So he'll have, this should be the little, the other arm. It's not, there we go. Good stuff. He also comes with uh, two more extra pieces. So these here on the side come off, these panels here. And we can plug in. Oh, this goes on this side. You can tell by the size of the pegs. Uh, the small, the small piece goes on top. So he has a little. Geez, what is this? More shocking pieces, uh, and more missiles or something. More, more things to blast people with. Look at that. He is armed to the teeth. He will mess you up. So real quick, I want to do a quick, and we'll bring this back out for Dr. Afra. This is the only other BT, triple zero, Doc Afra figured we have. Look how gigantic he is compared to them. I mean, he is like, you know. I mean, those, those, the cannons and, and missiles and all that stuff seem a little more exaggerated on the three and three quarter figure. Uh, this was a Comic-Con release. I think but Dr. Afra is the only one who came out single carded in the vintage line afterwards. So if you don't have that set, you won't have a three and three quarter BT or triple zero, but knowing Hasbro, you'll get those eventually at some point down the line. But yeah, this is a rad figure, rad astromech. So much, uh, so much character. Look at that. He is rad. Let's just gonna look at the details one more time before moving on. Man. This way, look at the little shimmer in the paint. It's good stuff. Good stuff. This is one of the better Astromax. Again, a little too small. I wonder if we'll see a Bandai model kit version of this. This might be a more interesting build. This would be more of the same, but the weapons and stuff, the head, looks unique enough to, to warrant another purchase of a, a Bandai model kit. So let's move on uh, to the final figure. Final figure? Am I right? No, I'm lying. There's one more astromech. Chopper. Let's turn this leg around. God, so this figure is full of fan service. I mean, look at that effect. It's awesome. Is this the first type of effect we've seen in Star Wars? You might. I'm surprised we don't have an R2 with his little blaster. This is how he came in the package with his little blast effect. He does come with an extra leg. Uh, this is his standard leg plugs right in the middle and there was an episode where so if you see he's pretty scrappy he was made from whatever parts he found the leg and he stole the leg in an episode of rebels so he can match pops in and out pretty easily as i struggle on camera there we go so it's just a little ball pops in really nicely just as weathered as the rest of this figure it's great paint look at that leg even that's dirty. Oh, I didn't know that turned. This turns as well. Uh, while the cylinder there is staying in place. So you can see it just plugs right in. Same with the cool wheel. Look at that little rigid. It's got treads. Boom. So you can have him rolling around, rolling, rolling around. He has his little arm here. He doesn't have the cover like R2 or CLBT has those covered. I mean, this is an old droid. I think this was the model. This might be between Old Republic and R2-D2, right? So, there we go. And this is awesome. So, you know, he's a very animated character. Talks with his hands. And he comes with his hands. So, you can see. Just pull that out. Arms come out. Oh, man. This figure's so good. And it has a little ball and hinge there. Pretty good. So you can get them in very different poses. This this arm's already loose for me. Been playing with it a bit. That one's pretty good. That one's holding in place. Little antenna here does uh does turn. You can see that there. Yeah, but look at the weathering, the paint. This is a good toy. And again, we're almost done with the Phoenix Squadron crew, the Rebels crew. Can't say it enough. Please show us Zeb at Comic Con. Please, please. 
that's probably my most him and a Rex, uh, old man Rex are probably my most uh, desired figures. But yeah, look at his face. You could sneak this into your uh, Rogue One set since he had a little cameo appearance there. He looks awesome. Let's take a look at a little effect. This is good. This is painted really nicely. The white smoke the orange to indicate the fire and this it's just a hole you can see right through it it's like a bunch of little dust tears on there it just plugs right in and chopper just sits atop it so cool this is like oh man this is painted really well so he's Hera's droid they scale well together i think they all scale all the rebels crew scales well together Man, they look so good. So much orange in this team. I guess it's the Phoenix thing. Phoenixes are red, I know, but they use a lot of unique colors here. Greens and oranges amongst that whole crew. Sorry, just trying to get her to stand. Man, they look awesome. So stoked, so hyped. Almost there, almost there. So Chopper, there's a really good three and three quarter Chopper from Disneyland. Let me bring that out. So unfortunately, I might be missing uh, a leg. I think this one came with another leg, but they're pretty similar in terms. Of, although this one, this one's arms are just permanently out. Hasbro was awesome enough to to be able to hide our arms, so we can have a bunch of different choppers painted differently. He also came with the extra leg, similar to the other one. But I believe this is the best chopper to date. This would be the equivalent of a vintage figure chopper so i i think they did come out with a, a basic figure chopper and uh yeah so these are the only choppers i have to compare to so stoked great figure let's move on to the final and my favorite figure of the wave dr freaking afro man i can't believe we have this figure now remind me in the comments was she a, a fan vote figure or was that only the three and three quarter one i i don't i, I don't know why we got this figure but i'm grateful and why they included the whole crew. I mean, again, Santi is uh, arguable, but why, what did we do to deserve this? I don't know, but I'm so happy. We don't have to wait. Like we waited years for to assemble Phoenix Squadron. Dr. Afra's got her droids. We already have a Darth Vader, which, you know, she's, she made her debut in his comic. We'll do a size comparison there with that. But God, look at how great they look together. So good. Another thing, look at this face. So she's drawn many different ways from looking Asian to looking, I, I guess, white, looking Latina. Two different figures, two different hair placements gives her a whole different attitude. The face looks great regardless. Let's take these off. But you can see closely how her hair covers the eye. And I think that's strong, man. That's a strong characteristic. But I also like her face here being shown framing her face nicely especially when wearing her, her her goggles and her little flight what is this called i don't even know the official name anyway yeah man the way she's dressed we'll look we'll focus on this one for now the way she's dressed i mean she can be a, a civilian in your marvel Legends display uh, i mean she's it just looks like she's wearing jeans a shirt a vest kind of a marty mcfly look anyway she is so good comes with her DL-44. Uh, I don't have a Han Solo near me to compare whether this is a smaller version of it or not, but it looks good in her hands. Again, let's look at that face. It looks kind of uh, Latino or Filipino. Man, it looks so good. The hair is just dark. There's no wash or anything over it. This is weathered nicely. Clean silver on the lenses. A little off-center there, but this looks good. Everything about this looks good. This fits on nice. It's very soft, but it fits on perfectly. Got some scuffage there. Vest looks good, separate piece. These are kind of strange. So be careful because you can't, I mean, she did it there, but I feel like I'm gonna break the shoulders. I don't know why. So look at when they bend down. They don't want to. I'm like stressing the ball. You gotta make sure you up and under there so you can get it back in place 
line work there on her arm looks clean as heck. Single jointed elbow. This too, I feel like I'm going to pull the peg up. So I'm bending from here. Goes just about to 45. So, oh God, Marvel Legends, guys, come on. So Overwatch females have this too. They have the ab crunch with the diaphragm. We're seeing that in, in the male figures. Uh, Power Rangers have been all male so far. But if these small-waisted characters in Legends, God, just give us the ab crunch on these female figures. <laughs> I don't know. Why are we getting different, I mean, why are we getting different types of te uh, technology or engineering across your different lines, Hasbro? Let's 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 keep it consistent. Take the best of all, apply to all, we'll be happy. Legs come out this far, belt's looking nice, jumping back and forth between paint and articulation. Buttons, silver buckles, all that stuff. Thigh cut. This one's a little snug because of the because of the holster which the gun fits into nicely. Blaster rather. Boom. Double jointed knees and the boots. Got the hinge and the rocker. My favorite figure in the wave. Man, so much attitude in this character, this figure. Inspired by Indiana Jones. Just a, just a shittier version in attitude and personality. Uh, she's not a good person. So, but she is a rad character. Let's get. Lord Vader in here. Towers over her. Oh, got dog hair. Animal hair everywhere, guys. It bothers me. Anyway, it's still on camera. Good grief. There. Looking good. He's not balancing. I'm not in the mood to stand him up, right? Toys just want to fight me today. They don't want to stand there. He heard me. He felt bad. They look great together, man. Awesome. Jeez, what a good wave. Is that just me? Do you think this wave is good? Could it have had more? Who? I don't know. But considering we might just be flooded with Episode Nine figures, Mandalorian figures, uh, Fallen, uh, what is it? Fallen Jedi? Jedi Fallen Order figures soon. It's nice to see some. I mean, she's technically original trilogy era. But it's nice to see some Rebels, uh, some Phantom Menace, and some comic book characters in there. Give me a Santee, man. Chewbacca's like the only Wookiee we've gotten. It'd be nice to get another Wookiee. I mean, we've gotten different protocol droids and astromechs. Let us get a different Wookiee. So before this turns into a wish list ramble, uh, I'll, I'll just sign off here. My favorite figure. Let me know who your favorite figure is. I know these are showing up at GameStop. Uh, piece by piece though. So some people have just found BT, some people found Triple Zero. Dr. Afra starting to show up at GameStop. Uh, I've seen people with Obi-Wan and Ezra. Uh, I got mine from Entertainment Earth. They shipped them out quick and early as usual. I don't know if it's because I'm on the West Coast with them. A few cities away. I don't know. Very fortunate. They're also, I, I took a look on eBay just to see. They're, they're $21 with sh free shipping, man. Uh, I didn't see a figure that was more expensive than the other. Take a look. Cherry pick if you must. Get some new Star Wars Black Series before we're flooded with Episode Nine. And I'm not saying those figures are gonna are gonna be terrible, but see, <laughs> seeing that we just got some, uh, we still have some early Episode Eight figures on the shelves everywhere still. Hopefully, their figure selection is is just much more is better and desirable. Uh, I mean, I'd like to see the line go on. I'm a little worried, man. I mean, that Luke, that Father's Day Stormtrooper Luke, five dollars. Uh, and they're saying it's because it was considered Father's Day merchandise, so it went on clearance, but it's a little worrisome when figures are cleared out like that, or figures aren't cleared out, like, you know, aren't flying off the shelves like Moloch. So, I mean, hopefully this line is healthy, we can get less exclusives, but that's just the nature of the beast. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I don't know what's coming next, Marvel Legends, stuff like that. But yeah, thank you again. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, comment, all that stuff. I appreciate you all. Thanks again. See ya.